Though she can now stand by herself, seven-year-old Katushabe Wapioma's life was very difficult two weeks ago. She was fighting a strange disease that had attacked her just weeks after claiming the lives of two of her siblings. Luckily enough, Katushabe managed to win the battle and overcame the disease. She can now walk to school and is once again a healthy youngster. <laughs> But the other sufferers of the disease were not so lucky. 17 people have died in a period of two months. Sawatan Here at Kagadi Hospital, this four months old baby girl is battling the same disease. After it's believed she contracted a mysterious disease from her mother, who was a clinical officer here. Mum Zeklia, the mother, unfortunately passed away a week ago. She presented with the same type of signs and symptoms, which could not respond to any treatment. She was so friendly to everybody, not only staffs, but to also even patients. And Mumza's young sister is battling the same disease. Doctors say she might be suffering from the same disease given the symptoms she presents. According to Sean Kajumba, the mysterious disease first killed a two months old toddler in June. Kajumba, <laughs> As of now, 17 people have died, but the cause of the disease still remains a huge mystery. The mode of transmission is yet to be established. We don't know yet whether it is something airborne or contact, but it appears it, it, was a, it came from one source because these are people who are all in one family. A look at these fresh graves illustrates the gravity of the problem in the area, with the latest death reported here as recently as Tuesday. Today as I talk, people are not sure of the next morning. Now as uncertainty continues to surround this mystery disease, some residents have fled their homes in fear of their lives. They are terrified that they too may be struck down. <laughs> Dala dala nti ama nyinti ngenze kufira chi Gwanga kangende wa gundi Na kuruwaza ni wakufu Hati tusobe ilu Hati tutandikile na kutina mmakago kugenda iyo Doctors at Kagadi Hospital assisted by a team of experts from Kampala Are now working in the two districts of Kagadi and Chibali Taking blood samples from the residents As part of the ongoing efforts to ascertain the cause We took some samples of blood and stool to the Central Public Health Laboratory. It has, all these tests have yielded nothing. So we don't have exact diagnosis of the, of the cause of those deaths. But until Monday when the provincial results are expected to be released, fear and agony continues to engulf the villages of Nyamurundo, Nyanswiga, Kapiami and Kagan Town. Julius Senkandua, NTV.